Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Week's Watch. It's Kristen here, and it is 5K day. <laughs> So Will and I are doing our own personal 5K this morning. We have been training for, like we've started running about three to four times a week, sometimes five. As we've increased our lengths, we've cut back, but we've been running three to five days a week for about a, uh, exactly a month. That's so crazy actually, because I think we started on January 23rd. It's February 23rd and we went from pretty much walking to 5k like we feel ready this past week um the distances that we have done have been over two miles um and we felt that we could keep going we just stopped for time purposes not because like we were exhausted so um while we have child care from the kids Mimi we are going to take some time to do our own 5k's and check this out yesterday so I'm kind of corny and cheesy. I got these cute little like metal templates or like these metals that are plastic that you can change out the paper of what it says inside. So I had Basie, me and Basie, but mostly Basie, decorate some little 5K medals for me and Will so that when we finish today, we can put on our little medals and celebrate that we did it. We felt that like both of us have run a 5K in the past. It's just been a really long time. And I think Will ran one in 2019, but I was pregnant with Basie um, at that time. I was, no, you. I was pregnant with Basie at the time and I was in the first trimester and I was so nauseous that I had started training for that 5K with Will and two of our other really good friends. Yeah, I had started training to run with them and then I was so sick, I was like, I'm not doing this. Um, so Will's most recent 5K is 2019, mine is 2016. Let me show you what we are doing. I have some eggs and some watermelon and then I'm also gonna make some toast. I'm gonna put some jelly on it. You want toast too? Okay, some jelly on it and some hemp seeds on it too. So I got Will to have some carbs because he was just gonna try to have a protein bar and I was like, uh, you're gonna try to just have one protein bar before a 5K? Silly. Maybe in another, maybe down the road it won't be as much energy expenditure, but today you need some carbs. Silly. And this is what I'm about to eat real quick before we, before we drop the kids off. This is everything bagel seasoning. You guys already saw this is butter, jelly, and hemp seeds, and then obviously watermelon. All right, guys, hey, we are out. We just finished, well, we're finishing up our warm-up walk. We're doing a 10-minute warm-up walk. I know that we could be doing more for our warm-ups, especially as we start doing longer distances, but for right now, I think this suffices. So, I my goal is to try to run my 5K somewhere between 30 to 50, 38 to 50 minutes within that time frame. Do you have a goal or are you just trying to see what happens? Let's try to see what happens. Okay. Y'all you know, know how I am with goals. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I'm going to get ready to press start on the run thing and we're going to get it going. I'm trying to do a little bit of interval stuff. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to try to start off slower. And then in that last mile or so, try to go faster for the finish and see how that goes. But, all right, let's do it. All right, so Will's gonna probably be in front of me pretty much the whole time. Um, I was looking up uh, these cars, the YouTube channel called The Running Channel, and they say to do your first like 3K at your marathon, half marathon pace. And then your last 2K at your 5K pace. I think that my half marathon pace as of right now is around 15 to 16 minutes. Um, so I'm trying to stay in there. I'll show you guys what happens once I hit that first 3K. 
Okay, good. I'm slowing down to where I need to be. At first, I was going a little bit too fast. That's something I'm learning, trying to get used to, is actually like intentionally slowing down to finish. And so mentally, instinctively, you think, oh, I need to hurry up. But really, when you're doing longer distances and you're not sprinting, you have to save something in your tank to finish. So that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, I'm gonna focus on running for a bit and then pick you guys back up. Okay, I'm trying to show you what my pace is. For some reason, I'm just, it says 12 to 44. I'm not trying to go that fast. So I have to intentionally slow down. Stopped in Starbucks to use a bathroom. Postpartum moms, you know what's up? Like, I just can't wait until I get home like I used to. It's not healthy to do anyway. So, stopped in here to use the bathroom. Will was already done when I got here, but I made it within my 50 minutes. I'll give you the exact stats and time. We'll give you both of ours when I get back to the car. So, we finished. Um, let me pull up my stuff real quick. How'd you do? I don't even know yet, guys. So I'm curious so, too. Excuse um, the wind, but we needed a breeze. Yeah. So um, my I was 3.1 at 43 minutes and 42 seconds. Okay. Average of 14 minutes and six seconds per mile. Nice. My split though, I I did my best to follow along with kind of like that that run that Kristen was talking about. So like. At 1.85 miles, I walked, and so I got to two miles. And at two miles, I did like my three or my 5k race pace. Y'all thought I was gonna die because then I was started and I was like, "I'm going too fast," but I was like, "But I can't stop." So, um, my first mile was 14 minutes 45 seconds. Second mile was 15:42, but my third mile was 12:05. So nice. I was like really That's happy about that third mile. So that was awesome. Good job. All right, so. I did mine uh, in 3.11, right? I did it in uh, 49 minutes. Nice. Um, I wanted to get it somewhere between 38 and 50 minutes. And I, I made, you made it, it. Within, That's good. And I, I would have been happy with 50. So my average pace was 15 minutes and 41 seconds. Awesome. Um, the way I did it was after the, I tried to do where like got around like 1.85 to two miles go at like a 15 to 16 minute mile pace but I was going I honestly was going a little faster than that but I figured it would even out it takes practice to slow down yes there were times I looked and I saw I was going 11 30 12 something which is great but then by the time I got to a mile I was actually tired so I took some time to do like um, a minute walk at a mile and then from there I kind of forget what I did because I was just looking at the clock being like okay all right why don't you run to the stoplight or why don't you run to mm -hmm. it gets to the 30 second mark or the 15 second mark and then walk and so I kind of just once I got to that one mile I kind of winged it um, <laughs> and I tried to <laughs> I tried funny. to start going faster like I tried to push it but you know I was tired but I made it where I wanted to be so I'm proud of that let me look at my splits though because that's that's One thing that you kind of spoke to me with what you said is like um, at the very end, like when I was, because like I told y'all my last mile, I was like looking and my, my, my chest, you know, chest was hurting. It was like <laughs> breathing all hard. And, um, but I kept telling myself, I'm like, just make it to the next sign, make it to the next sign. And then there were no more signs. So like at 2.8 miles, so I had like 0.3 left. I just kept telling myself like, you can do hard things. God allows you to do hard things. Yeah. Your body is made to do hard things. And so I just kept kind of repeating that to myself and didn't stop. And I'm so proud that I didn't because, you know, I'm not being held to anything. Like I could have stopped if I wanted to, right? But like, I really just wanted to do this without stopping. Yeah, so, but at least in that last mile. And um, I knew you picked it up because- from I probably my, took off. From my last mile, I couldn't see you. But yeah. that was okay, because I knew where I was. I Will was the one who mapped out where we should go, which is great. Like everybody should, you know, find yourself a Mary, uh, uh, former geography slash history teacher because.
because he was like, this is where we need to go. So I just followed, which allowed me not to have to think about that. So my splits, my first mile was 16 minutes and 17 seconds. My second mile was 16 minutes and 39 seconds. Consistent. But my, that third, like, mile was 14 minutes and 44. So nice. I, I'm, I'm pretty proud of this for the first time that we actually set out to really do a 5K to get it um, in under 50 minutes. When I told them earlier in the video that the last time I ran a 5K was in 2016 and the last time you did one was 2019, right? Yeah, and 2019, we were training with our uh, friends, Zale and Omar, and um, in 2019, I remember my fastest time I had, it took everything in me and I had gotten just below 30 minutes. I think I finished like 29 minutes in like 40 seconds. Yeah, so, so that could be a goal for you. Whew, and I thought I was going to D-I-E, y'all, when I made that time. And yeah. don't even get me started on my cross country days in high school because I was running sub seven minute miles. Yeah. Like, so Which I'm, I'm not ever gonna try and get back to that. Don't I mean, say that. You don't know. well, you're right. I mean, who knows what my body could do, but like, I'm not trying to get back to yeah. that. I'm just trying to like, see if I can get below 30 minutes for the 5K. Stretch time. So something that me and Will had talked about before was that like, when we have the kids, it's really hard mentally to push yourself to go all out because you know that like, when we're finished, we still have to be like somewhat alive to right. finish parenting for the day. And so rarely, Am I putting like going to like 90% for myself? Um, and I think it's a mental thing to try to give a hundred. I think there's a hurdle to get to that. But today I feel like I was able to get to 90 because I knew that like once we get home, since um, both mom has the kids, if I need to just sprawl out on the couch, I can. And I don't have to like and we will be. be present for them. So it's nice to have this time. It's fine. I feel like this is easy. All right. Yay, we did it. 5K. Oh, I put it on backwards. Are we cold boy? <laughs> I don't even know. We did it. We had uh, Basie Trace 5K. And then here's Wells. He's going to put his on. There we go. Yay. Just a little memento as we keep going on this journey so we're gonna keep working to try to get that 5k time down like i would love at this point like i would just love to get it within 45 minutes yeah um and i'll be happy with that because we have other things we're working on like we're trying to get i'm not necessarily trying to get the fastest speed i'm trying to we're trying to train for endurance so i'd like to have a faster 5k to an extent but at the same time since we're trying to do a 10k and a half marathon like if i would be happy with this pace for the half marathon so if I can just get a little faster, we'll be good. Yeah. So obviously on the title of this video, we put that we're overweight. That is nothing new. If you've been on this channel for a while, you've known that we've been on a weight loss journey for a little while. We were doing, like we were making steady progress. And then around August of last year, August or September, we really just kind of hit a wall. And then, you know, that's a tough time because then holidays are right around the corner. And so we kind of hit a wall with motivation and we kind of fell off in terms of our movement. We were overeating fast food again. And um, so this year uh, in January, when we started our fast and stuff like that with the church, we started, we started again with just walking again and trying to eat at home more than we did our fast. And now like we eat at home, like most of the time. Yeah. Um, and we're running now. And so all that to say is like don't let being overweight stop you if you want to run you just have to be smart about it pay attention to your body um i'm gonna put i think her name is holly martin i'm gonna put her page in here she's phenomenal and she talks to overweight runners but she's like an ultra marathon runner she and the fact that she still will like some people get really hoity-toity in this running world it's, it can get elitist and she could not say anything to us and probably still grow her channel but she does not love that and so she her advice is just like pay attention to your body and kind of know like know the difference between injury and just like regular soreness that comes from being overweight and comes from doing something new if it's nagging persistent sharp things like that it could be injury if it's 
you're just sore like you know oh this hurts a little bit i'm sore like i have to stop no like it's okay to be uncomfortable mm -hmm. um and so that's something that we're we're learning again and um i think that's that's a good thing and do it bit by bit like you know we haven't just gotten out in the first week start trying to run a 5k we started with just let's try to run, run 10, 10 minutes. minutes straight now we've progressed from 10 minutes straight to doing a 5k in pretty decent times for somebody that is, has been only a running in a month um so all that to say like if you are interested in running take it slow and just get out there don't discount yourself every little bit counts five minutes ten minutes i know will's mom i don't know if she's gonna be mad if i say this you can let me know but if i need to cut it out but she said she started running from driveway to driveway mm -hmm. and i thought that was great um i, I can say kev's name right yeah will's boss <laughs> like i just feel so i just like people's privacy <laughs> kev said that she said she couldn't even do how much a quarter mile, a quarter mile and now she's a marathon and now she does like the dopey challenge yeah. which is like 48 miles in a weekend so don't discount yourself yeah and that stuff when i hear that from people that i see and kind of i'm like wow they're like killing it when i see when i hear and i see that that is so encouraging to me and i'm sure we can look back at this video in six months a year a couple years from now and be like wow look at that time and and see that if you just keep chipping away at something you'll get better uh i love in the running community too a lot of times i see people saying like you are a runner you can be a runner there's no such thing as jogging it's okay if you have to walk in the middle you're still a runner and if you ran for five minutes or if you ran for three hours you're a runner go for it um so that's all i wanted to say